Hello everyone and welcome back to a new English lesson with teacher Bali Rashid. Well, today we're gonna try to skim and scan an email. Then we're gonna try to write an email. Okay, everyone? Well, let's start immediately. Here we have a text, but what is it? Is it a dialogue? Is it a letter? Think about it. Excellent, it's an email, an electronic mail. Now, who is the sender? Who wrote this email? Good job, it's Bill Howard. Excellent. Now, let's move to the receiver. Bill wrote this email to whom? Yes, very good again. It's to Tariq Najmi. Excellent. Well, now let's move to the email address. This symbol here, well, we no longer pronounce it uh, Arubask, like in French, but in English it's pronounced at, at. And this symbol here, we no longer pronounce it as point, but in English it's pronounced dot, dot. Well, let's try to read the email address now. It's bill at yahoo.ca. Okay, everyone? Well, let's move. Now, let's try to train ourselves to understand the meaning of some words from the context. Okay? So, we're gonna read the email and try to uh, give synonyms or at least have uh, uh, ideas about the meaning of the following. Wonderful, mountain climbing, camp in a forest, and a trip, okay? Well, let's begin with the word wonderful. Can you give me synonyms that you already know? Good job. We can say wonderful. We can say great. We can say beautiful. And we can say very good. Excellent. Now let's move to mountain climbing. And it's a sport. So we have mountain. We have the verb climb. Any idea? And here is a picture showing us this sport. Okay, everyone? Right. Now let's move to camp in a forest. We have forest. Everybody knows it. Camp, the verb. Any idea? And here is a picture showing us to camp in a forest. Well... So far, so good. The last word is trip. Trip is, for example, when you are in one place or one city and you want to go to another city. Well, so when you go from that city to the other, that's called a trip. People usually do trips by car, by coach, or even on foot if the distance is not that long, okay? Well, my students, good job. Let's move.
Now I'd like you to read the email again and try to complete this paragraph. Okay? Of course, you're gonna pause the video, do it in about two minutes or one minute, then play it again. And here are the answers. Bill is 13 years old. He comes from the city of Vancouver in Canada. His hobby is collecting magazines. Next week, he is going to camp in a forest with his friends. Now, he is preparing for this trip with his friends. Well, good job, everyone. Let's move again. Now everyone, we're gonna try to write an email to a foreign friend. Foreign friend means a friend from outside your country. In our case, a friend from outside Morocco, not a Moroccan friend, for example, an Algerian friend, a Tunisian, an American, friends, etc. Okay? Well, can you help me write my email to my friend Maria? Well, let's do it together. To, yeah, that's the name of my foreign friend, Maria Stabinski. From, of course, from me, my name, Rashid Bali. And my email, I'm going to write my email, which is rashidswimmer at gmail.com. Well, now let's begin. Of course, we have to begin with the greeting, like hello, hi. So here I said, hello, Maria. In paragraph number one, I have to give my name, my age, my city, and my country. And I did it this way. My name is Rashid. I'm Moroccan. I'm from Casablanca. And I work in Meknes. Meknes is a beautiful city. I'm 40 years old. So, paragraph number one, done. Let's move to paragraph number two. In paragraph number two, I have to write about my favorite hobby, favorite sport, and favorite dish. And here I am. My favorite hobby is cooking. I love cooking very much. My favorite sports are Aikido and swimming. And my favorite dish is Moroccan couscous. It's delicious. The last paragraph. I have to write about plans for next week. Of course, I've got to use the form going to. Do you remember? Here I am again. Next week, I'm going to visit the city of Asila. It's a fantastic city in the north of Morocco. Now I am preparing for this trip. Of course, I have to end my email. I'm asking here, Maria, tell me about your favorites and future plans right soon. Bye. Okay. Thank you, everyone. As a homework, I'd like you, my students, to write your own emails to your foreign friends, okay? And me, I'm going to tell you, have a nice day. Goodbye.